maikwara ndawa ku hospitali ko u pastor atwaita andu etune na kanga bano abinda manyute ku mandata balaba ku atabisi andu asuma ku maemwe asanteni sana mungu wabariki na na isini baraka nene mono eh ni bigide ba unenda ku asia andu mama ku wene asandi sana bando bangi kano kula e kwenda ku postwa ni asia ni ndo mama ku wene mama ku wene mwiko muno <laughs> Ando na kuasia hivi mama saku tuto kumete ba mama kumeto tuna atindi ya ba u tuo na tuo yangu wambinge ndo na kumuya masilanga timenze sipitali pa idio tim tim ba langai na tuiti ya kavana uya wake na tuende na mboya nienda kubika ba u ende na dimuya tu imwebio na ngai yamu adime ah na tuiza tuo akosamu no ma kwenye muigwengi ipa president wa Kenya 2027 and I move what I need to to our guest of honor who has invited us. Me and Yakas Yoga. We are in the museo. I've been down there. It's my man. My Ellen, I was along good on Eganis, Yen Yako, and yes, I eat up. Later, all you touch in Biluanda one and EMC or Guama two, but to my art. Bagawa air position in the lounge one day, it took a bar, a guy and a bar, and I'm both of them again. Only and Anasi, when I do Yatea, you know what room Guavaya and the court. How in the court, Peck is in which as ya to Ako Yamako and then over Ako to Mazako. Not in down there, Doctor Dolo, ten thousand. God bless you, Mr. and Mrs. Razaras Kioko. 15,000. Thank you. God bless you. William Madeka, 2,000. Thank you. God bless you. Aya, ala meo kete na kwa imo ke yu. Kana, Senator. Ah, mweshimi wa kataka, 3,000. Meo kete na kwa. Lucky, 3,000. God bless you. Well, minority leader, 5,000. Thank you. God bless you. Joseph. Joseph Munyasia, 3,000. <laughs> Salvation Sponsored Schools. Can you invoice for 14,500? 615. Hey! 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 Na marafiki mage. God is good. God is good. 
na kwa mazito ndo Gideon Muteti Count Assembly of Makueni wana Dr. Douglas Bilo Asante Go a committee member to the count environment committee Makueni pia ni umite mayani sita den Nito wa Joe Kiyoko nidhuku maobi na kwa nito wa John Nguni ninyo ni unga miye kitengo cha fight ni mugul ya kuandaye ya tuweka lendhi Tungulu mwea seo Mwea ina museo Kwa masito ni tawa Jafet Mangoka Administration Special Programs Silikani wa makuwene Individually Joki tumi wawana delegation nene ba Na imu nene mo nene Zinuone the potential of the church leaders Spitali witu wa rifaro Meja Kilatu wa nyoko utapja ikimwe No na wati ya kanisa mulumumu no Kanisa we siana Tailano wana ba Na atumia ingi aku mene miaka mingi Aduma kwa tani ite Na aku meja Inuti transfer, inuti promotion We wish you well in your next position Join us together And may God bless you and bless your family Asandeli sana Ngayamwe Asanti sana, meja, I salute you Mucha hakimwe Governor Witu na deputy Na all protocol observed Nita wachalo mumo Ndienda kunea nangawambi ingini undu Undu meja wasi ya asuwa onde manena Ni mete, boke meke, umeka, ilanzeo Mwe wetu ya ni principal Nika na weakness ya mwe ya meja Ni wesi Kweka choices Example, meja made Zot, tumu kanganizi ima kofi So finally Bishop Kimuyu Lawa taba niyaba Ona kwa nasoma na kwa usunu mwe Tui skulu aiwa CU na kwa na iwa ndrama Na nundu mundu eka laba lawa ya mandhi ye Ninyo ni bangu ya teka neni Na keba ye Nga ina mwike nesa Na ini mutia ndia nesa Thank you so much Tundu mwe wa nitha ni speaker wa mbunge ya makueni Douglas Mbilu Kweni your excellency Tukite kuona kulaka sioka wika laana ke Nelatu wika laana ka sioka Is a true religious leader No tekwenda Edha we musakue wako manaka sioka Nukutaba siya uwo Kamba peke juma keseo Eke potu Kiti kita waka sioka Nani keseo Nani taa kumake kechi Matune nge kivu Palabala Nanzia, no kana tuwe kwa bodhia Utesa waka, waka ibwa No kana na ake past, aku watewe wako Petanga nae, adu mandate tuni Neo mangava na mandate Being ridiculous because it is a popular statement If you are a leader in Taita Veta And you claim that Mutituande and Maknon Are in Taita Veta, you are likely to be elected But I want to warn the current governor It's not going to help you, because those dramas is either you deliver to the people or you continue lying to them that you're going to claim Maknon and claim Mutituandai for your election. Murutu started it. It didn't work. He went home. Granton Saboja, my good friend, and I called him. He told me that he's doing it for political reasons. He thought that he'd be elected. He lost this money because it not um, uh, perform on matters of development. The current governor, Namoreo Ruma, what he should do is to concentrate within the confines and the extent of Taita Taveta counties because you cannot Makwen, you cannot force people of Makweni to belong there and even if you are to force them anyway what happens to the buildings in the Mutituande which were approved by the former Water Town Council Makweni County Council registered at Makweni will you transfer all the chiefs and the TSE Walimu name them the police officers it is not possible it is not doable it cannot work it will not work it will never work so that is a drama that has been caused by leaders from Taita Taveta to cause friction between Kambas and Taitas, which we are not going to allow. I know the CS for Interior said that he has established a joint committee between the Count Commissioner for Taita Taveta and Count Commissioner for Makweni. Honestly, what do you expect the Count Commissioner for Taita Taveta to do? There is no way Taita Taveta officers can enforce collection of revenue in Makweni because the area... OCS is reporting to another account. It is not possible. It's not going to work. So the only thing that can happen, it is not within the jurisdiction of the CS for Interior. You also need the CS for Lands to come into this matter. The CS for Education. The CS for Transport. When SGR was compensating, all the people were compensated in Mutituande town. Their compensation was done in respect to Makweni County by the Land Commission. So the drama cannot be allowed. As a county government, I can tell you we are not going to allow that. The Constitution of Kenya under Article 188 provides that to determine a dispute between a county and another county,
parliament, that is Senate and National Assembly, should legislate to establish a special commission to deal with that matter. Currently, the IEBC, which is not placed, National Land Commission, and even to some extent, they do not have a legal standing to determine in the county dispute until the bill that was tabled before the Senate by former Senator from Magwene Mutula Kalonso Jr., now our governor, and which has been taken over by Senator Kajuang and others in Parliament. Until we have that commission in place, no one can purport to determine where Area A belongs in the context of a boundary, boundary issue between two counties. So what we can ask the Parliament, that is the National Assembly of the Senate, is to fast track that legislation for the national government to establish that special commission so that all boundary issues between the counties in the Republic of Kenya are resolved, factoring the historical issues, proximity to service, because you cannot compare, and even if people in 1992, they were in County X, and they are proximal to another county, you cannot compel them. So there must be public participation, and people will be asked to state where they want to belong. And because this is our country, definitely majority will state where they want to belong, much as we are fighting for resources. But the major resource is the people, and they will decide where they want to belong. So ultimately, Kalama people will decide where they want to be. Mtituande people will decide when that tribunal will be determined, notwithstanding the Districts and Provinces Act of 1992, which provides that Mtituande is in Makwene County. Let, let me say this, uh, the boundaries of Kenya, the boundaries of the 47 counties in Kenya, it was unanimously agreed that the 1992 District and Provinces Act will be used for purposes of defining those boundaries. Before 1992, Machakos and Makwen was one thing. After 1992 boundaries were determined, Kalama was in Makwen County Council. And between 1992 and 2010 constitution, Kalama people sought to be administered from Machakos district because it was closer than Wote, which was a new town, and the road was not that good. So the fact of the matter is that under 1992 District and Provinces Act, which is the basis of the 47 counties, if you read it, and I'll get you a copy, it reads when you are defining Makweni County, it reads including Kalama location. Now, between Makweni, a sister and a sister, on who is going to be in the custody of this baby, I don't think is a big problem because Makweni was once Machakos. And it's a matter that can be streamlined because it's a question of proximity of surfaces between Makweni and Machakos. The same District and Provinces Act of 1992 determines the boundaries and the extent of Makweni County in respect to Taita Taveta. And it's very clear it reads along the highway, including Mutituande town. So, much as I respect the decision of the court in saying that part of Mutituande belongs to Raita Veta, I totally disagree, because those are misplaced facts. And it is on that basis that the county government has given instruction to the count attorney to appeal the decision that was had in uh, expert, because McQueney was not given an opportunity to respond to the allegations or the application that was filed by Taita Taveta, by then the governor for Taita Taveta. But I want to put some basic questions. For those who are alleging that Mutituanda in Magwene County belongs to Taita Taveta, I want to ask, the area, the officer commanding station in Mutituanda, which is at the farthest, reports to the county police commander of Magwene. Mutituanda primarily reports to the county director for education for Magwene. The former Mtituande Town Council was reporting to the original office in Machakos uh, province and, I mean, Embu province and North Coast province for that matter. The land registry of Mutituande, the registration of the land passes in Mutituande, both allotment and title deeds are in water and they were devolved from Machakos, not from Voi, not from Mombasa. Since the inception of the um, CDF in the year 2005 up to date all the projects in Mutituande in relation to CEDF are in respect to Kalembendile Professor Kaloki uh, Jeskambal there is no evidence of a development project under CDF from Taita Taveta or administered by former member of parliament Naomi Shaban if indeed then Mutituande is in Taita Taveta. Why is it that there is no evidence of development, both national 
or county government or an administrative service that has ever been offered by Taita Taveta. And to make the matter worse, from the ages of Mutituande to where Voi is, it's a national park. 90% of the population in Mutituande, they are campers. And you are telling them to belong to Taitas. It is like saying that Kenya belongs to China. It cannot because Kenyans speak Kikuyu, Kikamba, Kimeru, Swahili and English. There is no relationship between campers and Taitas in terms of their settlements. People have been born there, they have been buried there, and they live there. And they can access services easier and better to water and machacos and former eastern province than Voi and coastal province. And therefore, the drama... Very much, team. Uh, one, I want to state that uh, I'm speaking like a resident in Makueni count and also my, in Machakos and also in Narok count. Uh, one thing I want to talk about uh, the boundaries. Uh, before I talk about the boundaries, we are one people, one Kenya. That is the basic. Uh, like in my constituency, that is a Kilome constituency, when it comes to issues of boundaries, uh, specifically, there is uh, an area where you border Machakos, and that is uh, along Kalanzoni Ward. You can imagine I have five good polling stations. The people from the area, they fought for me to be their, their member of parliament, and they have been voting since time immemorial. The same polling station, which are primary schools, they report in Machakos. You understand what I mean? Now, what is the justification that these people who vote for me, and because their schools are not aligned in my constituency, and uh, um, they are aligned in uh, administration-wise, or administrative-wise, they report in uh, education matters in Machakos, and also uh, when it comes to issues of security and all that, they report in Machakos. Yet, they are arrested who have been voting for me, and they have been also voting for other members of parliament who have been in Kilome constituents. Now, when it comes to distribution of uh, CDF, national government, uh, CDF funds, they have to benefit because they fought for me. I think now you are getting what I'm trying to say. Because, uh, they fought for me, and the schools, as much as they don't, the, the administration does not report in uh, Makweni, but they are my residents, so I have to work for them. I've been making roads for them. Even the county government has, has done uh, a dispensary along around the, the same area. So when it comes to streamlining them, the boundaries, we should not politicize that matter. Like the other day I was discussing with my chief uh, member of parliament, and we asked ourselves, why should the people keep on saying uh, Konzam belongs to Makweni, Konzam belongs to Machakos? We said that is nonsense. What we need to do is to make sure that Konzam city becomes a real city. And we should not keep on politicizing the same matter. And we, we went ahead and asked ourselves, we have Nairobi city. Where does Nairobi city belong? Who owns my, uh, Nairobi city? It is for everyone. So, as much as I know my um, concert ethnicity is in Machakos, it doesn't matter because we can house, like now, the Kenyan data center is in concert ethnicity. Uh, the, the national data center serves the whole Kenyans. So it doesn't matter where at the times Konza uh, is, but as much as we know it is in Machakos, in Makweni County, Machakos people will benefit. Even the Nairobi people are benefiting, and also other counties. So, let us not politicize the issues of boundaries. Uh, and again, we have the issues of uh, Taita Taveta. There are some disputes, but we are trying to, to harmonize and uh, uh, come with a solution. But matters of boundaries should not uh, be put as if it is just a matter of life and death. And I'm very sure the, the count speaker Mama Ma Kuen is here. Uh, he's, he's also going to take you through some of the issues. Of, uh, uh, I think there are some issues to do with the Kalama and all that. Yes. <laughs> uh, we all belong, initially, even Makweni was 
part of Machako's district. So we are just one people. So it may not matter where the boundary is. So we as leaders, we know, and we, we, we are consulting, and we will get an amicable solution. But let us not put the issues of politics into the boundaries. Because at times what we need is services to the people. We need services near to the people. Like now, uh, before a, a location was created in Nikonza, the people of uh, my area were reporting security issues in Machakos. Where is the justification? You are just like uh, two kilometers away from an uh, administrative unit, and because now it is being said you, are, you come from the other side, do you have to, 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 to travel like for or commute for 50 kilometers just looking to be assisted for services? So we must be rational on this matter, and I know we'll have a solution. Thank you very much. Uh, everybody knows where the boundary of uh, Makwene and Machakos is. Uh, along Mbasa Road, there is a road li uh, linking Katumani. The same, it is just straight on. Where we have a substation, it just goes straight to Kayado, where we have the Konza station. That is the main boundary. So basically, Konza Techno City it is in Makweni County. And the number two, before Konza started, that was just a, a first, it was just a, 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 what can I say? It was an unoccupied land. It was a sight land. So there, we, we, we could only just keep animals there and, and uh, whatever, livestock. So there, there were no residents. But now the land itself is in Makwene. So before, uh, you see the sediment of the sublocation was meant to bring services near to the people. Like now you see from Gamba location, it was our first location. So we had to at least uh, look for another location within Gamba. So we looked for Ulu, which was gazetted. And now it is Ulu now which has all the other sub-locations. I think now it is very clear. Because when you have to have one sub-location equivalent to a ward, it is, <laughs> it is not practical. So we have created another location, that is whole location, of which it will have some other sub-locations, touching to Konza.